So I couldn't not start off the video here. I just logged in and apparently uh, I'm packing, as you can see. Um, I don't really understand. I think my legs are like... There we go. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh man, I logged off for a little bit because uh, we had these fires going and now... Sweet, we have all the charcoal we need. Guys, welcome back to some brand new uh, Hunted Mod series. I don't really know what we're going to call this one. Um, but uh, yeah, in the last episode, we stole some eggs and now we have the capability of making this. I would assume. Do I have everything else? Yes, I do. Amazing. Uh, so yeah, we basically just chucked a bunch of uh, wood into here just to get some charcoal going. And now we have this cool little nest thing, which we should be able to... Uh, oh, no. Oh god, I'm dumb. Oh wait, no, small eggs. Okay, so I can hatch the galley, but I can't hatch... I can't hatch the, the Yankee egg, right? Oh, by the way, I just did like a little bit of work in here while I was waiting on some of that stuff, and then I just went off to edit, and uh, yeah. Um, okay, so this nest thing, the ember nest, only goes for extra small and small eggs, so that's why they have sizes on them. I was kind of confused about that. I thought maybe the size had something to do with the potential that it came out at or something. I don't know. You know, maybe like a small Anki would have been a weaker one, but uh, clearly it's just based on the actual size of the egg. So is there another nest that I can make yet? Oh, the bonfire. Uh, is, okay, so basically you heat it up or you start it up with oil and it keeps creatures away for a time. That's cool. Um... Concentrated hemoglobin. All right, so that basically we can breed underwater or whatever. We can stay underwater. Uh, that's cool. Uh, where's the next nest? Because I'm kind of curious. 25 and 45. Oh, this is going to probably be the one that we're going to need to hatch up that Anki. So we actually can't even hatch the Ankies. Interesting. I didn't know that when I was grabbing those eggs, but now at least we have something that we can hatch. Uh, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this brand new series. I really do appreciate it. And uh, again, we do have a patron server starting up on Friday for uh, this series um, with the exact same mods and whatnot. So uh, check that out if you're interested. Support the channel on Patreon. Um, let's see. So basically, we heat this or we, we got to power that thing up with some spark powder. Do I have any leftover spark powder? I could probably... Oh, you know what? I think I might actually have some extra in here. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's chuck that in there. And first of all, we actually have a level going. Oh, sweet! Yes, wait, 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 wait. Uh, why, why am I going in there? Hang on. Uh, forge! Oh, we, we have it! We have these things unlocked! Do I have enough to craft one? Wait, what? Oh, I don't have enough... Okay, I don't have enough, uh... How the hell am I supposed to be able to craft that? I'm gonna have to drop all the stuff on the ground, pick them up, and then craft that. Because I don't actually have the weight to be able to carry everything to craft it. All right. We'll get that sorted after. Where do I want to pump this level? Um, movement speed would probably be handy. Yeah. Let's just pump it in, into movement speed. I mean, like, it's it's a handy stat to have, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Uh, all right. Let's see. Do I have the galley egg on me? Did I not take that out? I did not. Okay. Let's heat that up then. Oh, wait. No. We don't have to do anything. That's cool. It just kind of, like, heats up itself. Nice. So let's grab that galley egg. We are able to craft or to hatch this, uh, which is awesome. I'm kind of curious though, like if we're gonna, like, do we? What's gonna happen here? Too cold. Okay, no, no, it's doing it. Sweet. All right, so that's gonna hatch up in three minutes. All right, awesome. So I do actually have some increased uh, breeding and and stuff on here, but uh, it's nothing insane. I didn't really want to make it extremely easy, but I wanted to make it like actually manageable to make videos with so yeah uh all right well we have this egg hatching up that's gonna take three minutes wait i thought the health was going down on it there for a second that was actually kind of worrying me um all right so can we can we manage to do anything then uh so first of all i'd say we need to actually get going with that forge so let's see what does that cost to craft um we can actually get into metal here today let's just pop that there Okay, so we're going to need 40 fiber. I think most of our stuff's in here. So it's pretty much just like the, the stone that I can't carry. So if I just take that out and then just like drop that for the moment. Oh my god, it kind of looks super weird. Um, then I need another 25. Boom. And what else do I need? 20 wood. 
What else? Uh, 65 hide. Let's just take half and then dump a bunch back. And what else? Five flint and 40 fiber. And I think once I pick up the stone, should have enough for that. All right, sweet. Okay, let me grab my metal out. Um, so we have the forge pretty much ready to go. We can uh, we can just take out some wood as well. Let's just put that in here for the moment. I don't really don't really want to put it outside where it potentially could get broken. All right, let's get that lit up and going. Sweet. So we have some metal. Now we need to work on a smithy. So we still need those ingots, but let's at least grab everything that we're gonna need for this. I might not have enough stone in my base. Uh, yeah, we don't. All right, let's go grab some stuff. Let's just quickly check on this egg, though. Uh, we're still pretty good. This thing is actually losing... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to pick it up. Uh, this thing is actually losing uh, durability just by being here, which is kind of... It's kind of interesting. I, I guess when it's lit up, it just loses durability. All right, let's see. Let's get uh, the rest of the stone that we're going to need. Let's probably just grab as much as we need here for this whole thing so yeah let's uh what do we need like 30 wood boom and then we need a little bit more stone better than just like constantly picking from my uh stockpile that i have back in my base which isn't really even that much anyway all right and then we obviously don't have any flint to grab out here unless no the whales are not back not yet all right soon though soon those whales will be back and then i will Harvest them up once more. All right, so need a little bit of hide. And do we have all the ingots? Yes, we do. Boom, nice. That is awesome. Let's just chuck that into there as well. And then I had a piece of metal too. All right, so uh, Smithy, that really sets us ahead here actually. That is going to be pretty huge. Let's go ahead and just chuck that down right here. So we need to just we need to just jump straight in and, and get ourselves some metal tools, but we gotta watch. Ooh, no 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pick that up for a second. I'm just gonna make the metal tools and then we will go ahead and hatch up this galley. So, um let's see. We can probably just chuck most of this stuff, if not all of it, into here. You know, just because there's really no point of actually having it all in here for the moment. Um, we can't carry all of that stuff, so you know what, it's fine find the way it is all right let's see uh metal pick metal hatchet thank you very much oh my god yes look at this it only takes ages to craft things in your inventory so you know crafting things inside of a bench it's it's pretty good so i think what i did mention in the last episode that i was kind of slightly thinking of maybe uh increasing or like taking away the weird um you know the weird crafting speed thingy uh, because I kind of felt like it was kind of pointless, you know, it's it just kind of sets you back Unnecessarily, so I, I probably won't do that now considering the fact that we actually probably don't need to be doing that Let me give it some of these stupid berries that I can't eat <laughs> I'm gonna give it some of those because screw this thing It's gonna it's gonna eat the berries that I'm not allowed to eat without passing out those things are so stupid I hate them. All right, let's see our first creature and it's a galley Oh, man, I wonder if this is the one true Gallimimus, the Gallimimus overlord. Please give me twins. Oh, dude, is that, it's freaking purple. Oh, my God. All right, let's see. Boom. <gasps> oh, okay, hang on. We got we to make sure this thing is well fed. We can't screw up. I don't know why I was about to um take it off of wandering because they don't do that anymore. Oh, uh, look at you. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You're purple. My first creature. Wow, okay, cool. So let me quickly just put you on passive because I don't want you running away if something bad happens. And let me just keep trying to chuck in berries here because you're going to need lots and lots of berries to raise up. So you're almost 1% mature. That's good. So I do have, you know, the rates up, but like they're not insane. I'm pretty sure that they're still nerfed from what I would usually use. Uh, by now, it would probably already be grown up. Oh my God, 420. No, I'm just... I'm just kidding about that. And also, yes, this is the funny number. Um, sweet. All right. So our first little galley. Oh, my God. Look at you. Look at you. Your head is so big and your neck is so thin. Look at those little arms. All right. What do we call it, guys? What do we call this thing? I mean, we got to call it the Galley Mimus Overlord. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. The Galley Mimus Overlord. Look at you. You're born. 
All right, sweet. So, uh, yeah, we, we can just obviously keep an eye on this thing. Uh, it's super close to, to death here, so maybe... You know what? First of all, let me grab that. Does that stop this thing from getting hurt? Oh, I can pick it up. Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I didn't mean to punch it. But look at that, though. I, I punched it, and then... Oh, okay, look. I keep punching it. I, I keep meaning to place it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> it's fully repaired. Awesome. All right. So let me just go ahead and pick that up. Wait a minute. Hang on. Did this berry spoil into a seed? Is that a thing? I didn't even know that. If that's a thing, that is probably a thing because I didn't have that, I don't think. So I think that's probably what happened. All right. Uh, let me let me quickly just do some testing here. Um, what was it again that I needed? Uh, oh, yeah. It was narco berry seeds and venom. Okay. I don't know where to get venom. I imagine something that's poisonous, but I don't know exactly what gives it. We could probably make some stimulant, though. We have some stim berries, right? Uh, yeah, we do. And they're pretty close to spoiling. So I need to collect more of those right now. And then that way... I can just split the stack and then they're all gonna spoil at the same time. Okay, that's the plan. Let's see, so now we have metal tools and everything. Oh my God, everything's coming up Syntac. All right, you're 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 good for the moment. If something comes over and attacks, this thing's gonna die. Just saying. Um, all right, so stim berries, I need to, collect, need to collect berries. Where's a good spot for berries? Probably over here. We should probably hack up that metal node over there and maybe just chuck that all into the the forge as well you know what i'm actually really enjoying this right now like um in the first episode i, I did enjoy it but i was kind of thinking uh okay this is this is a little bit too rough i gotta say the very start of this mod is very rough very very rough it's it's a real rough start um but we're slightly past the very start and we're kind of still in the beginning stages and it's fun it really is fun um it's difficult you know it's it's unforgiving at the same time, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I totally am. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys are too. <laughs> oh man, all right, let's see. So I'm just gonna probably continue grabbing these and then maybe if we can, if we grab over 100, I could just split the stack. Um, and then hopefully uh, we can get just tons and tons of stimberry seeds out of this. I do need water. Let's go grab some. You know, to be honest, even just the idea that the that the berries spoil into their seed makes a little bit of sense when you think about it, right? You know, a berry spoiling is probably the berry, like, drying up, like, and, you know, rotting. And then eventually it will just kind of, you know, cave in on itself. And usually in the center of berries, you would have a little tiny seed. So this really does make sense that they actually spoil into seeds. And I actually like that a lot. I feel like that almost could be just in the main game as well. I don't know why they didn't think about doing that. Uh, maybe Arc 2. We'll see. All right, here's the deal. We need to drop that for the moment. And they actually look like little little seed on the ground. Uh, what we need to do is we need to split that. That way we have the spoil timer on both of those. And we can basically have two stacks going of the same berry uh, with the low spoil timer or whatever. Let's see, what are you at? Okay, so we have two minutes to deal with that. We also gotta get back over here because I don't really wanna go too far away from this galley just in case. We can hopefully get an imprint or two on it. That would be great. Um, obviously, you know, this galley is gonna be a level one, so even when it is tamed and everything, like, we can't really do much with it right now. Maybe we can go fight some dodos, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's really going to be possible. Uh, we got to obviously just get back over here real quick and just make sure it has enough food and everything and then dump off some of this other stuff that I have on me. Maybe we can dump some food into it, actually. Maybe, like, all of the excess berries that I have. All right, so, yeah, you've definitely got enough. Uh, we'll just dump most of those in there. All right, never mind. We'll just take those away. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and just eat some of these. Just give me some food. We actually have yet to grab some meat. We haven't actually come across any meat at all. Really, like, no creatures that have been able to give me any meat. So, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, let's see, let's just... Oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. Oop, okay. Damn. All right, I'm kind of just dumping everything in there right now. 
I want to try and at least see if we can grab a couple more. Uh, we might not have enough time. See if we can grab a couple more Simberries. Come on. Okay, we probably should start splitting them now. Okay, split all. Split all. There we go. Okay, we can try and grab some more and maybe split those too, but it might not happen. Um, either way, though, they're all going to spoil into seeds for me. So that's going to be awesome. We're going to have tons of those. And we can start making some stimulant because we already have a ton of charcoal. Look at me using my, my brain. All right, let's see. About to spoil. Let's keep trying to get more and more if we can. Okay, and split all. There we go. Cool. All right, and now turn into seeds for me. Boom, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to want to pump this level. Probably movement speed as well. Like, you know what? Like, movement speed means that I'm not going to have to use so much stamina to get around. Um, because, you know, moving quicker, just short bursts of, like, sprinting can definitely, um, you know, they'll be a little bit better or whatever. Uh, but also, you know, just in general, getting away from creatures. That's going to be key. So, yeah, we definitely need to be pumping that. Um, all right. What does not belong in here? <laughs> all of this stuff, clearly. And we have tons of these seeds now. So let's actually get going with some of that. Uh, just dump all... Oh, no, no. Sand does not go in there. Let's dump that into there. All right. And then these can go into here. Um, by the way, uh, putting the fiber into there doesn't really make a difference for the fiber. I've already checked that. So let's see. Uh, oh, no. The mortar's in here. What am I doing? Okay. Let's just dump all that into there. And let's grab a bunch of charcoal. And... I think we have a bunch more in here, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. So we got to check up on that galley again in a second. All right. Let's see. Boom. Oh, that's probably going to give me a ton of XP. All right. That actually looks to be pretty good. Not super amazing, but still pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, my God. Crap. It spoils. Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, wait. Please, please. Wait, what the hell was that? You scared me. I don't know why, but I heard the noise and I thought you were dying. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Two minutes for that imprint. Oh, my God. That really scared me. That really did. Um, what was I looking at again? The stimulant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So putting it in here does make a difference. That's good. Having some of this on me occasionally when I want to do like little runs to try and grab some eggs is going to be really just killer because... Uh, just the idea of being able to just down one of these as I'm like, you know, completely out of stamina, it's probably going to help me out a lot. So hopefully it does. Um, all right. So we could do the imprint in two minutes, but we got a couple more things that we can do in the meantime. Let's grab some metal. We need lots and lots of metal going. Uh, to be honest, let's just make it easier. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this wall so I can just put them directly in. Um, yeah, this makes it a hell of a lot easier. Oh my God. Wait, what? That thing's broken already? I got, like, nothing from that. That's not even... Oh, okay. Did I already hit that a little bit or something? Dude, what the hell? I hardly hit that. Unless I was hitting it before, which I don't remember. Was I? I don't even know. Do you even know? I don't think you know either. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, now we've got a massive hole in our base. That's no, fine. We can fix that. Uh, let's quickly just eat 100 berries. Oh, uh, you know what? I could have just eaten a carrot. I'm pretty sure that, like, fully fills you. But it's okay. Whatever. We've already eaten the berries. Let's see. All right. You still got a couple seconds left before. Uh, all right. Great. So I'm not sure if I was hitting that before, but let's just hit some of these instead then. Yeah, they... I, I don't know if they break quicker. I don't think they do. I don't know. Hmm. I'm really hoping that we can get a... Uh, something that we actually have to imprint this thing because like we don't have cryopods or anything to re-roll the imprint food the cuddle food whatever you would call it um so if it's something i don't have then we just can't do it you know but if i had cryopods i could re-roll it although it might actually end up being just a cuddle or a yeah there we go nice 20 percent, sweet all right so hopefully we can get a full imprint that would be killer but if we can't then whatever um all right cool so I think for the moment, we're probably just going to focus on just hitting up all of these little rocks around here and just grabbing as much metal as we can. Uh, I think there was another. Yeah, there's a metal node over there. Let me go hit that. Oh, look. Look, the volcanoes are erupting. 
Nice. I don't think that they can hit as far as where I am here. Can they? I don't think they can. I think we're good. We might be safe. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna collect as much metal as we can. Clearly I was hitting that rock a little bit at some point. Cause like I'm getting a lot from this one. All right. So I had no idea, but this thing was actually gaining torpor, uh, from those blueberries. So don't feed it blueberries. Blueberries are only useful to make the little hemoglobin thingy. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> don't, uh, don't, don't bother feeding them that. Um, yeah, so here's what I'd be doing with my time. Just basically gathering more wood, uh, getting some flint and uh, some stuff going, and just trying to kind of like make the most out of my time. We did get another imprint on this thing and it was a cuddle. So uh, yeah, and I basically the reason why I'm recapping is because I, I just realized that I, I pretty much ruined that footage with the, <laughs> with the show that was like quietly playing in the background. I am the absolute worst, but uh, yeah, so we're actually gonna go off on a little trip here. Uh, we don't have much time, but we have a little bit because I actually need crystal. I need to go up here, I need to go to that little river, and I need to grab crystal from it. There's like a tiny little cave at the top of the river that's like pretty far over here. Um, if we can get there in time, that would be great, but if not, I'll probably just kill myself and then respawn back just to get that extra imprint. So we have like nine minutes, I think. So yeah, we got to get over there. I'm just going to do a little bit of running and then we might we might not run the whole way just in case there's something bad up ahead here. We do have uh, Pachycephalosaur right here. Um, is this their? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is their little hunting ground area. Breeding ground, I assume. Nesting ground. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. Uh, let's see. How do I get up and around here? Is there a way through? I think that we can get, um, okay. Can we get up and over here? Maybe? Yeah, sweet. Oh, look at all those rich metal nodes. I really want their metal, but I can't carry all that back. Maybe when we have the galley, we can do a couple little runs for resources, you know? <laughs> um, he might, he might come in handy for that. Uh, I really want freaking silk as well. That would be great. It will all come in time though. We will get all of this stuff eventually. Uh, we're still a little bit away from where this river is. I think it's on the other side of uh, this thing here. So we need to get across this. Okay, so we have a Carno up ahead. We need to avoid him, obviously. Um, it's on the other side of, of that thing right up ahead there. That's where we need to be. We try and grab some, uh, some stim berries if we can. We got one. That's great. Great start. I probably should have brought like one or two stimulant with me, actually. That would have been a smart idea. Um, all right, well, let's try and just get as much stam as we can and then we can make a run for it I'm kind of just uh, I'm hoping that we could just walk by here without it actually aggroing. I think we might be okay I think we could probably do this. I don't know how far of an aggro range a Carno has I'm watching it though because if it aggroes, I'm gonna bolt. I'm gonna go that way. I Think we're good. I think we're good. All right. What do we have down there galleys? We could probably actually go for another galley egg on the way back. Hmm, there's terrorbirds there. Never mind, never mind. Uh, that's a bad idea. Let's see. Oh my god, there's so many galley nests, though. There's like three of them. Maybe one of those is a terror bird nest, though. Oh my god, there's more galleys up there. It's like Galley Central. Oh, wait, no. No, no, I, I lied. Those are parasaurs. Um, all right, well, let's just do a little bit of running just to try and get through here. Hopefully, those terror birds are not going to aggro on me. Uh, oh god, they're very close. Oh no, please don't. Okay, let's just keep running. I think we're good. I think we're good. There's so many creatures around here, though. Okay. Here we go. Lots and lots of nodes here. Okay, we're getting raw salt from them as well, actually. Interesting. Oh, yeah, this stuff is heavy. Is that an Ovaraptor? That is an Ovaraptor. Is there, like, a nest of you around somewhere? I'm kind of actually a little bit... Hmm... Can we use these things to steal eggs from creatures? Because I know they can do that. I'm wondering if they're actually tameable. I want to know. All right. Well, if I ever find a nest, I'm going to steal it. Because, um, yeah, they, they can, like, grab eggs without aggroing, which is really cool. Um, so that would be great. Let me drop these. These things are useless. <laughs> Don't even feel like carrying them. So much I hate them. All right, let's see. Let's grab us some more berries. Try to make our way back. A um, little bit. 
Curious about maybe grabbing a parasaur egg. I don't know if we could do that though. I feel like they would attack me. I don't know why. I just have that feeling. Yeah, they're just roaring and, and running around. Oh! Oh no, 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 no! No! I didn't think it would actually come after me. Wow, okay. All right, here we go. Come on. And cuddle. Nice. Three cuddles so far. Very, very nice. Okay, awesome. This is actually a good way of getting some meat as well. I could have been doing this all along to just chop myself up. Yeah, again, don't know why I didn't think about that. This also gives me a nice opportunity to have a little scope of the land again because I'm still in the market for some dodos and I still have yet to see dodos. So yeah, a couple dodos would be great to find. Um, <laughs> probably not going to happen though. Uh, what is that up ahead? Are those trikes? I think that they are. Hmm. We could probably grab a trike egg. We could probably do that. Should I though? Probably not. Um, I don't know if I want to try this. I feel like they will end up killing me just based off the fact that trikes are pretty good AOE. Um, but they're also kind of somewhat slow and their charge attack really kind of like limits their movement as well. So let me see. Let me kind of, oh, there we go. Yeah, they're all pissed at me. If I can like move some of them around, we can hopefully get like loop back around this way and then potentially get one of those eggs. We should just go for it. I mean, like worst thing that happens is that we die, you know, and then what? We could just respawn. I think that's the main thing about Ark that just makes it kind of sort of easy in some cases, you know, you can realistically just like get yourself, yourself killed all the time. There's really not much of a, uh, a penalty for it, if you know what I mean. Oh, these guys are fast. Uh, I feel like if they had like a proper penalty, like it like took you down by a level or two or something like that, that would be kind of crazy. Okay, I got an egg. I got an egg. It's in the large egg. Oh God, keep running. These tracks are pissed. Oh man. All right, we're kind of almost, uh, yeah, we're basically at a stem. Uh, he might not be able to get to me. Okay, run. <gasps> Just keep running. If I can get far enough away, maybe they'll stop chasing me. No! He's gonna kill me. I'm dead. It's okay. I just got horned in the butt. It'd be kind of funny if they could take their eggs back, actually. Wouldn't it? I, I feel like that's that would be cool. That would be kind of cool if they could actually grab their egg back. That actually, you know what? If the mod dev is listening, that would be a great feature. If you are if you were like in possession of one of their eggs and they kill you. They should be able to take that back or, you know, they just take it and, and it respawns in the nest or something. I don't really understand. You know, just something like that actually would be a really nice feature because um, it would make it so you can't just do these little suicide runs, you know, where you just grab the egg and then you get yourself killed at somewhere further away. And then, you know, you just grab your corpse and then, yeah. So that would be really interesting. Um, I don't know if that's easily like, I don't know if you could do that, though. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, there's a terror bird here. Oh, crap. Run. Oh, no! Uh, sand. Oh, come on, let me go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're okay. All right, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me drop these stupid useless berries. Let me eat these cr uh, crystals, not, not crystals. Let me eat these. Okay, we're good, we're good. We should be good. I think, hopefully. Uh, all right, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. I'm wondering if they killed that terror bird actually. Damn, I hope they did because then I could just go back and, and harvest it. Maybe a terror bird would have some feathers on it. Ooh, that could, huh. Now I'm almost kind of wanting to kill some terror birds. Although I usually want to do that anyway, but you know, in this case, uh, it would actually be useful. Hmm feel like a terror bird would totally give feathers. I don't know. Let's just get back and, and, and yeah, craft yourselves a spyglass. <laughs> what on earth happened to my body when I died? All right, two minutes on you. What the hell? What? <laughs> like, I don't even understand. Ark, what are you doing? Why did I become like Stretch Armstrong? Ah! Okay, we're okay. Oh man, look at that. 
Look at that dead syntax. All right, well, let's harvest him up then. Get ourselves some meat. Boom. All right, you didn't have anything on you, right? Yeah, nothing useful at least. All right, so we have the crystal. And now we have a piece of meat. Thank you very much, game. Um, okay, let's see. Let us make a spyglass. Please be another cuddle. Ah, oh, you, ah, oh, you piece of. Ah, <sighs> do not speak that way to the Gallimimus Overlord. I know. Uh, god damn though, that sucks. All right, well at least sixty percent is better than than forty percent. Um, no, you know, I mean sixty percent is fine. Like this is our first one. I'm sure eventually I'll end up getting lucky enough to actually get um, you know, like a, a fully imprinted one without having to use kibble or anything. Uh, it just sucks that I can't re-roll that right now. I just don't have crowd pods or anything like that. So yeah, I'm probably not even able to make them or am I? I don't actually know. I guess we'll find out at some point. But uh, yeah, the galley is close to grown up at this point. You know what I've realized? You know, we should actually craft that little saddle station thing. Where is that? I feel like that. There it is. Okay, let me. Oh, I need 12 raw metal. Okay, I definitely don't have that. Let me, let me go grab some metal then. There it is. Okay, so what's this one? A clay nest. Oh, a hundred feathers. Oh, screw you. Okay, so medium and large eggs. Okay, so if I can make this, I need a hundred feathers. But when I can make this, I'm going to be able to hatch up my Anki and my Trike. My Anki's and my Trike. Okay, that's good. At least, uh, at least I know this is going to be the next one. Uh, organic Palmer. What? We need organic polymer to power this? Are you kidding me? I mean, ah, uh, that sucks. How the hell do I get that? I mean, like penguins, I guess, but penguins are all the way over there in the cold. <laughs> Stupid thing. All right, whatever, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's, uh, where can I put this? Maybe like right here, boom. All right, so where is the galley saddle? We have the two of these right now um okay let's see where's the galley saddle galley is probably uh this one here i would say yeah there it is so i'm gonna need a simple saddle for that so i don't have any of these these little implants i need to get some of those do i craft them no i have to actually get the deactivated version and then i have to activate it and then I can go ahead and craft that with the rest of the stuff. But I'm also going to need, like, a lot of different things for the saddle. They don't make it easy. They really don't. Like, that's that's actually really difficult to do. I'm not even sure where I get these implants. Do I just find them inside of nests? Like, I, I kind of... You know what? We're going to do, like, a little, a little suicide run at that spino nest. Let's just see if we can get over there and just see what's in there. I don't know if, uh, if I'll be able to find something useful, but we got to try. All right, so we're about to enter the hunting grounds for the Spino, and it should roar. There it is, okay. The nesting grounds, whatever. Um, okay, we might as well run at this point. <clears throat> kind of losing my voice, because uh, the Spino knows we're here. Well, I don't know if grabbing that would really help. <gasps> Look at this. This is it. It's an alpha implant. Oh, God! No, no, no! Is he... It's not able to grab me, is it? I don't think it's able to get to me. Oh, crap! No! <laughs> Run, boy! Um, oh, God. Wow. All right, so we've got the implant. I mean, like, there we go. We should probably check out, like, a trike nest or something. Huh. Let's do that. Let's go try and check out that trike nest and see if there's a fallen uh, survivor there. Like, an alpha implant is the best one, so clearly, if I'm looking for, what was it, an epsilon or something like that? Uh, if I'm looking for that one, I'm probably going to need to go to a lower tier nest. And I would say trike is probably maybe still too high, but we should try and go for this anyway. I would say a medium nest is probably what we, we're going to need to go for, but I'm not sure what medium creatures are. No, but there are random seeds that I don't know what they do. I guess we'll find out if I can keep them. Uh, but yeah, still, hmm. You know what? A fallen survivor one would probably only be available. 
Like, logically, there should only be the fallen survivor one over at like a carnivore's nest. So if I can find a terror bird nest, I would say that that's maybe where I'd be able to get the correct implant, right? That makes sense in my head. Cause like we're finding like seeds and stuff out of these dudes. I don't know. Let me see if I can find the terror bird's nest. Okay. So if there is a terror bird nest, it should be around here somewhere. What is that carno? That carno and that terror bird are eating a galley. And I can see a baby galley over there. All right, I'm not sure what type of nest this is. What is this? This is another galley nest. Okay, well, let's just pick it up. And Can I do the examine nest? Long grass seeds. And there's also some clay. Let's just grab all this. Oh, no, the galleys are pissed. Oh, I did not realize the galleys attacked. They do attack. Wow, okay. All right, great. I think let's just go back for the alpha implant. I think for the moment we need to we need to shelf the idea of trying to get a saddle because we still don't even have feathers or any of that other stuff. So, yeah, we need to just grab that implant back and uh, and then you know just make sure that this thing gets fully raised up. I think it's almost done, right? Eighty six percent. We're almost there. You know, like the idea of trying to actually get a saddle here today. It's I don't I don't think that would have happened anyway. We still we're so far off. Like we, we need feathers, we need all this other stuff. Uh yeah, it's not gonna happen. But we do have this alpha implant that we potentially can get back. And I would like to do that because it's super useful eventually. You know, we're gonna need it eventually, so having something like this would be great. Um but yeah, for the moment I think we'll just try and kinda like figure out what nests i need to go to for what things like i don't think i'm gonna find sur fallen survivors at like a herbivore's nest i just i feel like we're just not gonna find them there uh just my opinion because of the fact that you know like you're not necessarily gonna like carry back a body for a survivor uh to baby herbivores or whatever or really have it in the nest you know i don't know just my thinking that we need to go to carnivore nests for those I do know that the spino is like right up here. So hopefully we can at least get this implant a little bit closer. And if we have to do a couple runs, then so be it. Okay, I'm not sure where the spino is. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see where the spino is. You just try and grab this thing. All right, it's eating the Pachycephalosaurus. Or is it? It's kind of just standing there. They're like just chilling together. Oh no, oh God, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Just gonna run. Okay, cool. Oh, is that thing coming this way? My god, it's just running all over the place. We're gonna end up running into that thing at some point. I can't already tell. It's gonna happen. All right, well, we have the implant and uh, we have the galley almost fully grown up. Guys, I think that's probably gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you wanna see more like this, you can of course subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you watch this far in this video and you're not subscribed, then go ahead and do it. I mean, why not? You know, what's it gonna hurt? <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, uh, patron server, check it out if you want to. Launching on Friday. And uh, that is it. I will catch you on the next one.